Hello, my name is Paul Sanders from Caption Data, and the purpose of this short video blog is just to give a quick tutorial on how to set up a typical hybrid installation. So, what you need to do is centrally locate the base station within the property, and the first link in the chain is to actually establish a link to the Secure Web Bureau over the mobile phone network. The hybrid has a SIM card and a modem internal to the device, so as soon as you switch the unit on, it will automatically power up and try to make a link to the web bureau. On the short video clip here, what we can actually see is what happens with the Hygronet when we actually power the unit up. So we can see the GSM indicator there flashing about once a second. What it's actually doing at this point in time is searching for available mobile phone networks. Then after a few seconds, assuming you have reception available, as it has now, you will see the, the flashing indicator go to a slow flash once every two to three seconds. So that's a good sign uh, and it's the first step in the process uh, on setting the hybrid system up. So what we can then do is move on to setting up the sensors. Now we have that link to the web bureau. Every measurement point that you want to take you can install a wireless battery powered hybrid sensor you literally go to the room or the location where you want to measure the dampness of the building and you press a button on the high granite sensor and it automatically creates a link to the base station. You can actually have up to 256 of the remote sensors to one base station. Everything is automatic and there's no need to, uh, to program anything locally for a laptop or PC. What we really do need to make sure is that we're within range on the wireless sensors. These two video clips will show you what happens if you're in range and or if the base station is switched on or not. So the top clip here we'll see finger come in and press the force report button and we only get a single flash on the sensor and we get no flash on the base station. Now what this means is one of two things, either the base station is switched off or the sensor is simply out of range. If we have a successful link, as per this video clip, press the button, we get a very quick double flash on the sensor, which means the handshake has been performed, and we also get a single flash on the sensor receive indicator there. So that's a good sign, and it means we can just move on to the next sensor. So what we can then do, we can log in via a smartphone, iPad, tablet or just a regular workstation with internet connection and we can just log in securely to the web bureau and the first thing to check is just that you have a robust mobile phone signal strength there. All of the signal strengths for the Hygronet base stations are reported back to the web bureau for you to check. What you also need to check is just check that all of the sensors are updated successfully and then you can actually go in, name the base station, give it a meaningful project reference uh, and then you can do the same with the sensors also. So you can name the sensors as front living room, upstairs bathroom, so on and so forth. So whenever you produce a trend of data, download the data for audit purposes, you have the, the real defined references there. So I hope this uh, short tutorial has been of use and uh, if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to contact us at uh, Caption Data. Thanks for listening.